Hey everybody, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. This is my husband, David. Oh, oh, oh uh, yeah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for another weekly weigh-in, check-in, how's it going on our weight loss. So, we haven't done this in like three weeks because I was out of town, you were out of town. And then, last week, Jen was gone um, out of town, I think, and then we were at a birthday party till late, so yeah. we didn't film. So it's been like crazy. Very much so. We were all set to film today, and then Jen just texted us and said her husband is in urgent care, not feeling good. So, so breathe a prayer for him. Yes, yeah, so we are gonna hear from her in just a second mm -hmm. on how she did. She's gonna send me a clip, but you guys be praying for him. His name is James. Um, Jen, we're praying, praying for you guys. Hopefully, everything's okay. Yeah. Um, I know he's not feeling good. So, do you want to just go? Let's go to her clip first, mm -hmm. and we'll see how she's been doing. So, let's go to that. Hey, everyone. It's Jennifer. My apologies that I'm not able to be live tonight with uh, David and Jessica. Unfortunately, um, I'm actually at an urgent care right now. I'm waiting in the car. My husband has been sick for a couple weeks and started running a fever, so we thought it was best to get him checked out. Um, he's going to be okay, but that's the reason that I'm not live with them tonight. So anyway, I wanted to at least do a video to um, kind of give you guys an update on what's been going on with me. I know um, we haven't been able to do videos every week, and I know I've kind of missed out on some as well, so I didn't want to miss out this week. Um, I did weigh in this morning, and last time I weighed in, and forgive me, I think it's been a couple of weeks, um, two or three weeks, I was 147.4. Unfortunately, no good news this week. I was 149.2, so I am up 1.8 pounds. Um, I'm not happy with that at all at the same time. Like I said, I think that's actually over three weeks, two or three weeks. So it's not um, totally horrific, but definitely not the direction that I want to go. Um, I mean, honestly, no excuses. I just haven't been following what I need to do. Um, I have not been listening to my body, been doing far too much eating out, um, too many birthdays, my husband's birthday and then Father's Day and our anniversary and I just did not follow my guidelines. Um, so no excuses, just better discipline needed. Um, my plans really are just to get with it. <laughs> um, I'm really doing good as far as, you know, not drinking things that I shouldn't. Um, I, on, on one happy note or, or successful note, I can tell you that I am now drinking my coffee with only cream and absolutely no sweeteners. Um, that was definitely uh, a, a challenge, but I, and I, I'm moving towards going with just black coffee, but I thought I would start with just doing, um, you know, taking the sweetener out first because I felt like that was probably the thing that was going to make the biggest difference in the taste. So I think the creamer will be a little bit easier. Um, my goal really is to just do the best that I can and hopefully lose a pound or two, at least get back down to what I was in the next couple weeks because in about two and a half weeks we are going on vacation. Um, I can pretty much guarantee you it's not going to be a good result after that. I'm not going to be hard on myself over vacation. Um, and I'm definitely going to really try to get back on track when we get back. But, you know, I really want to kind of start now. I don't want to give myself a pass from here until vacation because that'll just mean more, more gain. So I'm sorry that I didn't have good news. I know we're kind of going up and down. Um, I, I've just really got to get a handle on this. I've done it before. I know I can do it again. So I've just got to figure it out. So anyway, um, David and Jessica, I hope you guys are having a great night. And thank you to all of Jess's faithful viewers. Um, hope you guys are doing well. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Okay. So you guys right. know before us <laughs> how she did. So um, do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Please first. Okay. So um, the last time we talked was like, like I said, three weeks ago. And I went out of town uh, the next week to my mom and dad's house. So I weighed in myself right before we left and I was down like three or four pounds. Like really, I had been doing really good. And basically what I had been doing, so I guess we should talk about that. What I have been doing, I'm still doing intuitive eating. I'm still listening to my body, but I'm trying some intermittent fasting. That's where you kind of extend your fasting period. Um, so some days I skip breakfast, some days I have a later lunch, and I've really been enjoying doing that. And I feel like it's been helping. I've also been kind of dabbling in um, my fitness pal tracking, just tracking basic calories, 
not even so much because I'm trying to restrict a bunch of calories and I want to get into all that again, but because when I'm accountable to something, it really helps me not overeat. Um, so if I go a little bit over, that's okay. If I go a little bit under, that's okay. I just want to be accountable to something right. as opposed to just wanting to eat and eat and eat. So um, I, had been, I was down a good bit before I left. And then traveling and having a few treats while we were there and all of that, I was up a few pounds when I got home. And it was that time of the month this past week and all that. So all of that to say, I was down a lot lower than what I'm reporting right now. Seems that is just how I do it. It's so frustrating. I wish I could just go down and stop all this like up and down, up and down. But I'm not giving up. I am not giving up. I am doing my best to just keep the momentum. So last time we weighed in, um, I was 231.6, which is, I know, up from this whole year. And then um, this week, I, the, today when I went in, it was 230.3, so 1.3 down. Um, I'm glad it's going down, but like I said, I was at like 227 before I left to go out of town. So my body hasn't readjusted from that time of the month and all of that yet. So that's my exciting news. So for me, it's been just a simple thing of getting on something and sticking with it. And one of the things that I've noticed is when I'm successful is when I truly cut out anything that, um, you know, is a craving. I try to eliminate my cravings. And one of the biggest things I do is I try to cut out as much sugar soda as I can. Sometimes when you go to a restaurant, they don't have a, the diet soda you like and you've gotten a meal already. So the soda comes with it and you don't say, well, I just wasted a dollar and whatever. So I'll just drink water. No, you always get something cause you feel like you paid for it. That's a trick. Don't do that. So what I'm going to start doing is if I go to a place where I get locked into something like that, I'm going to get an entree and a side separately and ask for a water. And I think that will help me. Well, and a lot of times, run. like when you go to Chick-fil-A, I know this because I do it all the time or a lot of other fast food, if you just get water, they will reduce your combo right. price. So you're not actually paying for some places don't though. Uh, so. Some places don't, but I know Chick-fil-A does because I've seen so them. Um, so you definitely can do that. So, but I'm trying to do that. The other big thing is trying to not eat between meals. I know I've said that a lot of times, but I'm telling you guys, it's hard, It's hard, especially with the hours I keep. I usually eat breakfast somewhere between 7.30 and 8.30 in the morning, somewhere around there. And I'm hungry around noon. So between noon and one around there, I eat lunch. And then we usually eat dinner, sometimes as early as six o'clock, sometimes as late as eight. And so it really depends on where we're at. But that, that time between lunch and dinner is my trap time and I have to know that and so I'm really trying to make sure I'm working on that. My other trap time is if we eat an early dinner at like 6 and I'm starting to get a little munchy around 9 to 10 and that's a bad thing for me because if I eat dinner, if I eat anything after like 9 o'clock it doesn't burn quickly because you're sleeping and so you wake up heavier than you would have. So I'm trying to just make the precautions and not do those things. Drink water, try to make sure you get enough liquids, make better decisions when you can. And um, like when I want a sweet craving, I'm trying now to grab more fruit or grab something that's less calories and it has been helping. So the last time I weighed in three weeks ago, I was around 263 to just over 263 pounds. Today I am 261.4. My goal is when you guys hear me check in next, whether it's next week or the week after, I'm back in the 250s. That's what I'd really like to be. And we do have a bit, we have a trip coming up. We're going to go see Davis family for the 4th of July weekend week, beginning of the week, yeah. next week. So um, I'm not sure how weighing in is going to go next week or how the weight loss is going to go. They have a pool, so yeah. I'm sure we'll be swimming a lot. Um, my, I don't know. I feel like it's hard during the summer because I have both kids home. Yeah. Nate has not been sleeping, which means I'm tired. Yeah. And sometimes when I get tired, I turn to things like food to kind of keep me awake. Right. <laughs> um, but one thing I have done, I'm really proud of myself, is I have pretty much cut out all forms of sugar uh, substitutes, like artificial sweeteners. Um, I've I'm been working drinking, my way to get there. I've been drinking a lot of these. 
I never liked these. I hated them so bad. These are the LaCroix. This one is the Peach Fair. I I was that exact same way a few weeks ago, and I've, I've gotten used to them. I'm drinking my coffee black, something I never thought I would be able to do, and I have noticed that it's really helping me not crave stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I can drink some black coffee in the morning or even as a, like a snack in the afternoon, and it does kind of help me not feel munchy with that. Mm -hmm. But I've got a, I've I've really got to buckle down this next you know little bit because yeah we will. Um, I just feel like this year has been an up and down roller coaster of up and down, up and down with the weight, and um, I'm just tired of it. It's been an up and down season in several areas with the kids, with the church, with. You know, even personal things that we've had to deal with on the side that some some y'all know about, some y'all don't. But the key to all of it is is keeping things in perspective, eating things in moderation, and most of all, of course, when you feel stressed and overwhelmed and anxious, whatever, take it to God. Yeah, that's the best yeah. thing you can do. And um, you know, I've been also thinking a lot about body positivity, and I'm really hard on myself sometimes, and like pick apart my body in areas yeah. I don't like. Me too. I've been wearing the same... My body, not hers. <laughs> I love her. I've been wearing the same clothes, like literally since like we got married, like old, worn out, stretched out. Um, I had this bathing suit that was just falling apart, but I didn't want to spend the money because in my mind, I'm going to lose weight, and then I'm going to get a brand new bathing suit, you know? And... Um, I took a little bit of money, not much money, just a little bit, less than $100, and I bought myself a couple of new things. I bought myself a new bathing suit, um, some new outfits, some new dresses, and that's really been helping. And I think, you know, if you start feeling good about yourself, yeah. it as opposed to just wearing like some baggy old thing, um, it really does help. And so but don't something wait. something that helped me was that shirt you bought me. Yeah, don't but, wait until you get skinny to start right. treating yourself good. Right. Yeah, like she bought me this really nice shirt that I got a lot of compliments on Sunday. I preached in it. And um, before I went to camp, I couldn't wear it. And I was actually, you know, a little heavier then. Well, this past... Can I give it to you, Can I give it to you before camp? Well, you, you sure it wasn't then? Uh-uh. Are you sure? <laughs> I almost remember almost packing... I got it for you for Father's Day. Like, right after. Right after. Yeah. Okay, so eight days ago. Anyway, so... But this uh, Saturday, a few days ago... Uh, I put it on and this time it fit me because well, I I, because I've gone down a couple of pounds. Well, I think it's important too to find clothes that flatter you. Yeah. Um, I got him this shirt that it, it says slim fit, which normally we don't like because I feel like it accents things we don't the want. Wrong parts but of But this really did help because it wasn't so baggy on him. It fit him really well. And um, you know, don't be afraid. I, I feel like sometimes we hide in baggy clothes. Yeah. Um, and you know it makes you look bigger than you are yeah and um i have this it's hard for me to find clothes because i have you know a bigger chest and it's hard to fit my body but just not giving up and just settling for something just because it fits but like try to find something right. that really makes me feel good dress for your size not not for don't always dress for comfort is important but sometimes we overdo the comfort because we feel like I'm going to get sweaty in this, or this feels tight on me, or yeah. whatever. But you want to dress to your size, and if that means, you know, getting things that feel a little snug now, as you eat better throughout the week, by the end of the week, it's well, going to fit a little too, bit better. I found too, like if you're wearing actual real pants, this is a stay-at-home mom life here. Um, you know, it's so easy to put on like the yoga pants or the exercise pants or whatever that are just really stretchy. And if you eat something extra, you don't feel it in your clothes. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't get tight because mm -hmm. they just stretch. But when I wear like actual pants with a button, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it helps me throughout the day because I feel them. And if yep. I can tell if I ate too much because they start getting tight. Yep. And that's been really helping me, like getting up, trying my best. It doesn't always happen. Trying my best to get up and get ready. And all of that helps as opposed to just laying around in your pajamas till one in the, you know, one in the afternoon. And um, all of that. Or one is, in the morning. <laughs> one in the morning. You should be in your pajamas at one in the morning. Um, but yeah, just dressing for the body you have now, learning to love that body you have now, because if you don't, if you're right. constantly wishing for something else, you're not, I, I feel like it's not healthy. Right. Like you've got to enjoy the season you're in right now. And don't wait. I, not that I spent, like I said, a lot of money on new clothes, um, because I do hope I get down, right. but I can enjoy, feel better at myself at this size, as opposed to waiting till, you know, right. whenever. So that was just a little bit what I was thinking about. So shameless plug. I, the message I preached on Sunday actually ended with 
the uh, one of the points was enjoy the journey of life that we always think about well eventually heaven's going to be there eventually i'm going to be you know old and wise and have 15 grandchildren eventually i'm going to have the house i've always wanted the money and the retirement whatever if you always think that way you're going to miss what god has for you today yeah and you're going to miss the season god has you in to teach you right now today so the weight i'm in right now i'm not a fan of it but while I'm getting towards the future, working towards the future, that doesn't just because I look like this doesn't mean God can't use me and that God can't show me awesome things and that I can experience great things in life. So yeah. make sure you enjoy every moment of every day because all you have is today. You don't have tomorrow. God hasn't given it to you right. yet. All you have is today. So enjoy today. Make the most of today. And I will try to remember to link his message down below. He preached on Sunday. He did a great job. I know you guys like hearing It's that. in my uh, sermons playlist on my channel. And you can also go to the Faith Family Church YouTube channel and our website. And you can hear but that. But I'll try to remember to link it down we'll below. We'll link it all there. Um, but yeah, I think it's I think it's super important. And, um, you know, just not talking bad about yourself in your own head. Yeah. You know, like just being positive. And I know we've been in a, a slump with this weight loss but we're not giving up and yeah. i know we've had some comments like what are y'all doing you're not losing any weight why are you doing taste test tournaments with all this food why well, i thought you're trying to lose weight i know, I know you guys I, I, and we understand that but at the same time but we enjoy life we're that's enjoying life and we're not i'm not saying that that's how we eat every single no. day that's like a once a month no. taste test you know but at the same time like we do these videos because i know there's other people out there who are struggling just yeah. like we are and it's it's hard. I mean, sometimes with weight loss, I, I feel like I get momentum and I'm really gung ho and it's kind of easy. I mean, yeah. it's a lot easier. And this year, for whatever reason, it has been a struggle. And um, I'm just not gonna give up. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna give up. I am going to keep trying things. I'm That's gonna right. keep testing things. I'm gonna keep cutting things out, adding things, whatever I need to do to see what's you know gonna ultimately work for me. And this so far has been doing okay. I just need to not give up on our trip, you know, just stay active. Mm -hmm. um, don't get tempted. I'm sure we'll hopefully, fingers crossed, have a date night in there sometime. We just yeah, really we need will. one. My parents will make sure we do. And, um, you know, I, I doubt we're gonna go eat a salad, but we can still be mindful of what we are doing. We never get a date night, y'all. No. Um, like, I don't even remember the last one we had. So, anyway, that was a long, drawn out thing, but I hope you guys understand what yeah. I'm trying to say, and if you're out there and you're feeling the same way, let me know. We'd love to pray for you and encourage Absolutely. you, and we're all in this Iron together. sharpens iron. So, question of the day before we wrap up, um, Dave. Okay, so if y'all are not aware, uh, today is June the 26th, and that means that- They're watching it on the 27th. They're watching it on the 27th. Today's the 26th while we're filming it. So, being that the first day of summer was less than a week ago, my trivia question is this. Is summer your favorite season, your least favorite season, or is it somewhere in the middle, and why? So we're gonna go to Jen, we're gonna hear her answer now. Hey guys, I am here to answer the question of the week. Is summer your most favorite, least favorite, or middle season and why? I think I got that question right, David. <laughs> um, I would probably say that summer is my middle. My favorite time of year is the fall into early winter season, the Thanksgiving, um, you know, Christmas season. Uh, summer would be probably a very close second for me. I really enjoy um, the summer. I enjoy my kids being home. I'm probably one of the few parents that actually does not dread summer. I like when my kids are out of school because I feel like we get more quality time together as a family. I don't feel rushed in the evening. If we want to throw a video in at 8.30, 9 o'clock at night and watch a movie with the kids, I don't have to worry about them having to go to school the next morning. Um, you know, it's just, to me, it's a more laid back time for us. And of course, we usually try to take a summer vacation. And so um, I really enjoy that time as well. So I would definitely say it would be my second favorite season um, from fall and winter. Okay. Okay. So my answer is, well, as, a, as a kid, it was always my favorite because there was no school. Right. Um, now that I'm not a kid, it is my least favorite because we live in Georgia and it is hot like so hot and miserable you cannot do anything outside unless you're in the water and if i'm in the water i'm chasing kids it's not relaxing at all i just i don't know i like having the kids home with me you know for the summer sort of <laughs> 
but Nate is really good on routine too. So it's just, summer is crazy. And it's really a busy kind of chaotic season for us. I do not, it is my definitely my least favorite season. Um, my favorite would be like fall or winter. Those are pretty much tied as my favorite, so. Summer as a, as a kid growing up was my favorite because of no school, swimming, playing outside. Vacation. I used to get very dark because I would be outside hours. I loved to be outside and play outside when I was a kid. Um, I did not really even stay much indoors until I was in like actually a teenager. I loved being outside. Um, growing up now, even as far, even as early now as college, summer quickly became my least favorite season because I had quickly discovered that heat is your enemy when it comes to sweating, when it comes to being cranky, when it comes to having your energy zapped, and it just, I, I, I don't mind being out. I don't mind having fun outside and swimming, and I love the water, I love the pool. That's where Nate gets it from, I love swimming. But I've never, ever liked summer as an adult because I don't like that feeling of, of being sweaty the moment you walk outside of being, you know, where you have to grab your sleeve and wipe your brow. And, you know, the, the joke is winter, you can always put so much on, you can put more on. Summer, you can only take so much off. Yeah. So there's, there's a level of, of discomfort that summer brings. Winter is my favorite season, specifically from the week of Thanksgiving through around Valentine's Day. That three month period has so much fun stuff. All the holidays, my birthday, her birthday, New Year's, you know, there's just so many great things there. And then probably a very close second is the fall. I love yeah. the fall season, football, changing leaves, cool breezes, all that. I love the fall. Yeah, me too. So um, yeah, summer, I do love, um, you know, like I said, having the kids home more, doing more vacation type things. Fourth of July, yeah. uh, grilling out. Oh, Those summer has high fun. points they for sure. They definitely are fun. There's high points um, for sure. But yeah, it is Youth hot camp is in the here. summer. I it love youth camp. Hot. But again, youth camp was hot. Yeah. So Ugh. anyway, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, next week, we're going to be out of town. So I'm not sure if we'll have time to film a video. If not, we'll catch you guys back. We're talking next about week. doing some specific videos while we're there. We'll let you guys know on Instagram, Facebook, what all we're putting together. So y'all can and be sure to not miss I that. I always post a video every single day. So even while we're gone, you'll still get videos. Yep. In order to not miss those, make sure you are subscribed. And click that bell. Yes. And that will keep you notified of the videos when we post them. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure you give a thumbs up. Your thumbs up is how you vote for right. which video you like and I look at that to see you know which videos we need to do more of or more like and it, that really does help me out if you give the thumbs up to the videos you really really enjoy so also please don't forget to leave us a comment down below and answer the trivia question for us where is summer on your ranking when it comes to the four seasons most least in the middle why we'd love to hear your stories we'll see you guys all later bye bye Took some time, but we pointed out That tomorrow isn't here right now, baby An absent mind came to roam around Captured you in a 